So this is my natural hair colour. The colour I'm using is the Swatchkoff Live XX colour range or something. And then the shade I'm using is Shocking Pink. So obviously I'm going pink for the Go Pink for Breast Cancer Awareness kind of month. That is for the month of June. So that's the whole reason I'm dyeing my hair. And that gives me a way to spread the awareness and talk about breast cancer and things that are impacting our men and women today. These are the dyes I'm going to use. If you saw my other hair dye video where I went a strawberry, blonde, red, kind of orange colour. Um, it's the same brand and range as this colour. But I don't think I've actually used this shade. So this shade is Shocking Pink. I finally learned my lesson because one box doesn't get across my whole head. So I've got two boxes so we'll be able to do the whole hair. I'm going to start with just doing a strand test. That much is in each box dye. It's actually one of the best smelling things. I have like the fondest memories when I smell this. <laughs> Fun fact, I was reviewing my notes on Olfaction yesterday and Olfaction is the only sense that has a direct relay to the cortex. It's very important in memory. So there you go. Right, so 20 minutes later, so you still can't really tell that it's pink. Okay, so I definitely can afford to keep it on for longer. I want it to be more of a brighter pink and I'm sure it will be where my like roots in the top of my head is because that's the lightest part of my hair. Right, so <laughs> this is how we're looking currently. These are my four sections that I'm going to work with. So, that is one side done. <laughs> one quarter done, I should say. I'm really not doing a good job of keeping it off my face. Second box, we're going into. Pretty groovy. I do have a little bit left over, so I am gonna go ahead and just put that on the underneath because I feel like that could be somewhere I've missed. I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair into the quadrants again so we can wash it out properly. With that, I'm gonna go and clean up my forehead and my neck. <laughs> that is terrible. So I'm gonna clean that up and then um, we can start to wash it out. All right, so it's been half an hour for this quadrant. So I'm gonna wash out this section. Fingers crossed it's even. Um, I can't get to like this section and under here until that bit washes out. So I'm just going to leave that another 10 minutes and then we can wash out that whole half. Um, we're going to wait another minute and then we'll wash this one out. I'm going to try and wash this quarter out on its own and then I'll add the rest of this half and we'll wash it all together. So I'm just going to rinse it out the last bit and then it'll all be done and I will probably straighten it because I think you see the colour better when it's straight rather than curly. My hair feels so smooth. So this is the colour washed out and I've also brushed through some heat protectant for when I straighten it a bit later. Um, it definitely is uneven at the top and like in the roots, but hopefully once it's straightened and I can like maybe do like a little braid at the top or something, hopefully that will fix it up. <laughs> this is what we're looking like. All right, 
so it's the next day this is what my hair is looking like after it's straightened fully dried similarly to my last hair dye video Similarly to my last hair dye video where I went red, my hair doesn't feel damaged, it feels nice and healthy, everything is as normal. Um, and so yeah, this is what the colour came out like. As you can see in my roots, it is a little bit sort of like patchy and the overall colour isn't actually very pink. And I don't know. I watched a fair few people using the Shocking Pink shade on YouTube and Instagram and stuff and their colour didn't turn out like mine so maybe it's because I am a natural blonde and it just didn't work with the yellow in my hair maybe I'm not sure but um, just FYI if you are a natural blonde like me you probably won't get the sort of pink that was on the box but this is still a nice colour I still really like it um, I mean, it's still obviously a shade of pink. It's just not the vibrant, like, hot pink that I was expecting. If you would like to donate to the National Breast Cancer Foundation's initiative for the Go Pink for the month of June, then I will put my fundraising link down below and you can go and have a look. Please don't feel any pressure to donate, but if you have some spare change and you would like to contribute to more uh, breast cancer research, and funding and things like that then feel free to donate to myself or anyone else uh, participating in the go pink pledge like always if you're ever going through something and you need someone to talk to please feel free to message me either you can comment down below um, or you can just message me on Instagram or send me an email if you want to keep it a little bit more private no one deserves to suffer in silence and suffer alone you are never alone I promise you that so please reach out um and yes i'm sending love to you all thank you so much for watching another video and i will